how to use Airtable, Airtable tutorial for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So for today's video, I will show you an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Airtable for beginners. And by the way, Airtable is a modern spreadsheet tool with database functionalities. It is simple, user-friendly, and allows anyone to quickly create a database. It isn't one of the many no-code tools that are rapidly gaining traction. So today, let me show you how you can easily use this software. So first thing first, visit Airtable.com. This is the main homepage. And here, just log in. If you didn't have an account yet, then create an account first to follow these steps. Just click on sign up and follow the guide to create an account. So here I already created my account, so let me just log in to my account. So once you created an account and log in, now you'll be prompted here in your main dashboard. So here, let's get started. So I just cleared everything. Usually when you created an account here, there is like a questionnaire that you need to answer first. And then based on that information you provided, there will be a pre-populated workspace here for you to see what you can do here. But now I cleared everything out for us to start from scratch. So here to start with, we need to create a workspace. So workspace is like a main hub of your project. It is a collection of projects shared among a group of collaborators. So let's name our workspace here, for example, a restaurant for our restaurant business. And down here, you have your base to add. So base is a short term for database and the database here, it contains all of the information you need for a specific project stored in one or more tables. For example, we will add here under your restaurant, the marketing team, accounting base, customer service base, etc. And there are a few different ways you can make a new base here. So first, you can make a base from one of Airtable's official templates up here or from a base published by another user here on Airtable Universe. So let me just click on this one to add a base. So here you can also make new base by importing a CSV file. If you are moving from Trello or Asana, then you can import your CSV file here from Asana. And here you can also make a new base from scratch. So just click here, reset from scratch. If you selected a template and then you change your mind, you want to start from scratch. You can reset it here. So let's rename it marketing. Choose a color here and an icon to use for your base like your profile. And just click here the logo of the Airtable to go back to your home dashboard. And let me add more base here. Give me a moment. And then let's name this other base here as customer service. And let me choose a color blue here. And let me choose or find an icon here that will match the base name. So let me choose this person icon. And then also this third base, let's name it accounting. And then let's add a color here. And then let's find some money icon to match this base. So give me a moment. All right, so we're done. So this is just a sample, guys. These are our base now inside our workspace. And also you can change the view of your workspace here. You have your list and then you can also have it grid view. And here on your left side bar is where you can manage all your workspaces. So if you added multiple workspace, you can see it here. So the next thing that we need to do here is to set up each of this base. So let's start with the marketing. So when you click on it, this page will open. And this look pretty much like a spreadsheet, but it's like an advanced spreadsheet. So here we can rename the table by clicking this down arrow and let's name it for example projects we will list all the marketing projects here for the restaurant business that we have and then we can also add another table here for team table and then you can also again 
import your CSV file here if you like to or if you have. And then also let's add another table for our goal. And then you can add as many as you like here to organize your project. So after that, let's also rename this row here. So for the first row, let's rename it as campaign. And here, for example, we list everything we need in our campaign or in our marketing. So for example, video production. Then let's also add Facebook page, setup, Instagram setup, assuming that this business is new and you need to promote your restaurant in social media. Then let's also add first campaign and graphic design. So these are the projects that we have inside the marketing base. Then the next row, let's name it as goal. And then let's select the field type for this. So let's select long text. So you have different field type here to choose from. And for the third row, let's add the start date of this project. So choose date here. And also let's add due date field here. So same, let's choose or select date. And next, let's keep the status field here. And by the way, the status field is single select field. And you can add more options here and choose your own color. Lastly, let's add the assign to row. And then let's select collaborator and allow multiple collaborators for you to add more than one assignee for a specific project and allow this to notify the assigned person for the project that you assigned to them. So that's how easy and fast you can create your own project here and organize everything in one workspace. And here you have a lot of different kind of field type to add in your table depends on what you really need. So let me just fill out some column and rows here for a start date, due date, and also let's choose some status here to do. And then assuming we are going to assign it to the person, but I only have mine here. So let me assign it to me instead. And by the way, you can also filter here the information that you want to see here in your project, inside your project. And also you can group here. For example, you will be grouping all the to-do list so you can pick a field. So for example, the status. So you can group the status. So here, all the to-do will be grouped and all the progress will be grouped and also all completed tasks will be grouped. And you can sort also the information that you want to see here. And there's also a color here, but it's only available for upgrade plan. So pretty much it. This is just a simple project to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's go back to our dashboard. And here you can also make use of their templates. They have different templates here to choose from. And everything has been categorized. Depends on what kind of project or workspace you want to create. And also go back to dashboard. You also have your universe here and universe is like another templates that you can make use of, but it's not created by Airtable. It was created by Airtable users for you to use it. So I guess that's all for today's video about how to use Airtable for beginners. And I hope that you like this video. If you have any question, guys, don't hesitate to comment down below and thank you for watching.